Setting up shipping rates manually in Shopify. On Shopify's product page, set your product weight to one pound for each of your Lulu Direct Connected products if you have not done so already. Then, navigate to Shopify settings and click on Shipping and Delivery. Now you'll create a shipping profile that only includes the products that are connected to your Lulu Direct projects. Under Shipping, click New Profile. Name it something like Lulu Books, then click Add Products. Select all of your Lulu connected products, then click Done. Next, you'll create your shipping zones. Click Create Zone under Shipping Zones. Each shipping zone will correspond with the country or group of countries to which your products are shipped. For this example, we'll choose the United States. Click Done. For each shipping zone you create, you will need to add at least one rate. These are the rates that your customers will see during checkout. By default, all Lulu Direct orders are automatically shipped via the least expensive trackable shipping method, so your rates should be created accordingly. Under the shipping zone you created, click Add Rate. Under Rate Type, select Use Flat Rate. Select Custom for the shipping rate, then enter a rate name like mail. Before continuing, open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to Lulu's pricing calculator at lulu.com slash pricing. We'll use this to set our Shopify shipping prices according to what Lulu charges for shipping. Input your book specifications, then choose United States for the destination country in the shipping section. Based on the product specifications entered, the pricing calculator indicates that shipping and handling for one copy of the book, via mail in the U.S., will currently cost $5.69. Back to Shopify. Now that you know what your cost will be, you can decide what you would like to charge your customers for one copy shipped to the U.S. In this example, I simply want to pass on Lulu's cost to my customer, so I will put $5.69 in the price field. Remember, the price you charge your customers for shipping is up to you, so you can adjust this as needed. If you don't want to set up shipping based on quantity, meaning your customers are charged just a single price no matter how many products are ordered, skip these next steps and click Done. To adjust shipping rates based on quantity, click on Add Conditional Pricing below the price field. The easiest way to do this is to base your shipping prices on the item weight. Remember that we have set our Shopify product to weigh one pound. Therefore, in the minimum weight field, leave it as zero. In the maximum weight field, put one pound. This will ensure that whenever a customer has one book in their cart, they will be charged $5.69 when they choose mail shipping. Click Done. It can be time-consuming to add a shipping rate for every possible quantity. One way to get around this is to group quantities together. For example, let's set up our next shipping rate for two to five copies. Click Add Rate, select Use Flat Rate, select Custom for the shipping rate, and enter Mail again. In the Lulu Pricing Calculator, adjust the number of copies to five. We see that the shipping and handling cost for five books based on the specifications entered is $9.69. Enter this price into the price field, then enter two pounds for the minimum weight and five pounds for the maximum weight. This will ensure that the user is charged $9.69 for shipping if they have between two and five copies of the book in their cart. Continue to set up a rate for six to 10 copies, then 11 to 20, and so on. Continue adding rates for any additional shipping zones by repeating the previous steps. Click Save when you are finished.